Chapter 2 Introduction to Molecular Orbital Theory Contents Types of Molecular Orbitals Homonuclear Diatomic Molecules Second Period Elements Energy Level Diagram and Electron Configuration for the Diatomic Molecule and Bone Order Learning Outcomes at the end of this lesson Students should be able to explain the molecular orbital theory, draw molecular orbital diagram, identify magnetism properties, calculate bond order, and identify the bond and existence of molecule. Molecular orbital theory Molecular orbitals are associated with entire molecule as opposed to one atom. Allows us to accurately predict magnetic properties of molecules, energies of molecular orbitals determined by combining electron webs of atomic orbitals. Bonding molecular orbitals come from various combinations of atomic orbital wave functions. For H2, 2, 1S wave functions, one from each atom, Combined to make two molecular orbital wave functions. Look at this. One S and another one S combined become the bonding molecular orbital. The constructive interference of wave energy of bonding molecular orbital lower than atomic orbitals. This is the symbol of the antibonding molecular orbitals. Number of atomic orbitals used must equal number of molecular orbitals. Other possible combination of two one s orbitals. So here, destructive interference of the one s waves. Energy of the bonding molecular orbital is higher than energy of parent atomic orbitals. Summary of molecular orbital from 1s atomic orbital. This is the 1s and this is the 1s orbitals. This is the orbital of lab. Cancellation of electron wave reduce electron density between nuclei. So this is the sigma antibonding for the 1s. And this is the bonding sigma 1s when the electron density is additive between the nuclei. Bonding molecular orbital, electron density builds up between nuclei. Electrons in bonding molecular orbitals tend to stabilize molecule. And the bonding molecular orbital, cancellation of electron wave, reduce electron density between nuclei. Electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals tend to destabilize molecule. Molecular orbital energy diagram for H2. So this is the energy and this is the atom for the hydrogen and this is the molecular orbital for the H2. So this is the 1s, one electron, one electron here. Combine 1 plus 1 equal 2. So put the 2 electron here so this is the bonding 1s so this is the anti-bonding 1s h2 is very stable molecule rules for filling molecular orbital energy diagrams electrons fill lowest energy orbitals that are available follow the of power principle applies second one no more than two electrons with spin pair can occupy any orbital follow the Pauli exclusion principle electrons spread out as much as possible with spins unpaired over orbitals of same energy hence rule apply bond order measure of number of electron pairs shared between two atoms so this is the formula Bond order is equal to the number of bonding electrons minus with the number of antibonding electrons 
and you divide by 2. H2 bond order is equal to 1. This is how you calculate for the bond order. So this number of bonding electron for the H2 minus with the number of electron for the anti bonding electron. So this is a 0. So 2 minus 0 divided by 2, you get the answer is 1. H2 bond order is equal to 1. So because the number of bonding electron is equal to 2 minus with the number of antibonding electron 0 divided by 2 get the answer is equal to 1 so a bond order of 1 corresponds to a single bond a larger bond order indicates a greater bond strength and a shorter bond length so greater bond strength meaning that the shorter bond length bond order used to evaluate the stabilities of a compound as an indication of the strength of a bond and as an indication of the existence of a molecule so this is the bond order 1 2 and equal to 3 or equal to 0 or negative and also the fractions also possible so when the bond order is equal to 1 so this is considered as the single bond and the bond order is equal to is double bond and bond order equal 3 is triple bond and if the answer is zero or negative which is no bond energy level for boron carbon and nitrogen atoms are larger when 2p atomic orbital are half filled repulsion are relatively small 2p energy are much closer with 2s energy some mixing occurs this orbital mixing lowers the energy of the sigma 2s and sigma antibody 2s molecular orbital and raise the energy of sigma 2p and sigma antibody 2p oxygen fluorine and neon atoms are small so relatively strong repulsion occur as the 2p electron pair up this repulsion raise energy of the 2p orbitals high enough above the energy of 2s orbitals to minimize orbital mixing magnetism for the diamagnetic substance that do not contain unpaid electrons all electrons are pair and the magnetic effect cancel out thus repel a magnet for the paramagnetic substance that contain at least one unpaid electrons and attract by a magnet homo and lumo highest occupied molecular orbitals homo Electrons from the HOMO are donated, most available for bonding, most weakly held electrons, characteristic for nucleophilic component. For the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, LUMO, LUMO receives electrons, lowest energy orbital available, characteristic for electrophilic component. Okay, look at this. For the molecular orbital in the center here so we look at the homo is the occupied molecular orbital the highest one is the sigma 1s for the homo so the answer for the homo h2 is equal to the sigma 1s lumo is the, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so the answer is the sigma antibonding 1s Molecular orbital energy diagram for He2 4 electrons, so both sigma and antibonding sigma molecular orbitals are filled. Bond order is equal to the 2 minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 0. There is no net bonding. Molecular orbital energy diagram for He2 
so this is the energy diagram so when you look at this is a fully filled of the electron for the molecular orbital so for electron so both sigma and anti-bonding for the sigma 1s molecular orbitals are filled so bond order is equal to the zero because two electron here minus two divided by two equal zero so there is no net bonding so he2 does not form so this is the molecular orbital from 2p orbital so this is how the bonding and which is the antibonding so this is the antibonding so this is the bonding and this is the antibonding and this is the bonding so this is the for the pc and this is for the px or py molecular orbital energy diagrams for second row of predictable so this is the molecular orbital energy diagram for the li2 to n2 so the pi to p lower in energy than sigma to p so here so that's why you just remember one two one two so this is the one two one two and for the o2 f2 and higher sigma to p lower in energy than pi to p so you just remember one two two one so this is the one two one two and this is the one two two one for the p orbitals and diatomic molecules of second row elements diatomic molecules containing atoms of the same element so li2 be2 p2 c2 and 2 so this is considered as the 1 2 1 2 so this one o2 f2 and ne2 is the 1 2 2 1 second row 1s orbital smaller than 2s for lithium overlap of n is equal to 2 orbitals will be much more than 1s also 1s orbitals both completely fill so both sigma and antibonding sigma molecular orbitals formed from this are filled therefore no net bonding can ignore 1s, can focus on valence electrons and orbitals.